you know, we all go through life and we're trying to, you know, we're so busy, we're trying to find time for ourselves to do the things we love. We have a wonderful author on the show today, Robert Renault. His book is called The Time Trading Guru. He's going to show you how you can trade some of your work time to enjoy some of the finer things in life and some of the things you enjoy doing. We're going to get some tips and tricks from him. First up on the show is, of course, Get back to them. <laughs> Team This Is Bananas. Yeah, guys, we're coming <laughs> out in a minute. Look at that's Fluke Tag. That's coming up after the break. Hello? Guys? Hello? Are you ready? It doesn't work. We're, heading out, we're heading outside. <laughs> Oh my goodness, we're all overwhelmed. We have these busy lives and we think if we want to do the things that we love to do, the things that we've dreamed of doing, we have to be multi-millionaires or we have to give up everything. The only thing you have to necessarily give up is some of your time to do the things you love. And our next guest can tell you just that with his book. It is called The Time Trading Guru. We're joined by the author Robert Renault. Robert, welcome to the show. Great to have you here. This is your first book. Congratulations on the book, first of all. And let's talk a little bit about your, your backstory, Robert. Robert, how did this idea and concept come to you in, in the first place? Well, you know, I think it's, it's not something that just happened overnight. It's right. uh, really been about uh, the way that I've lived my life. Um, you know, I always had a lot of dreams uh, when I was younger, but I was always too afraid to reach for those dreams. Right. Um, and then uh, as I started going through my work life, I started, uh, you know, having a lot of great experiences with, with different people and getting different perspectives. And then I started to realize the dreams that, uh, that I had. Um, you know, I think one of the biggest things, uh, life transformations that I had was I was, I had a great stable government job. Um, and I remember looking out the window one day and I started to ask myself, is this it? <laughs> you know, I spent all these years in, no in, in school. <laughs> I spent all these years in school. I went to university. I had a great job. I was making like $30,000 a year as a, as a fresh, uh, you know, 20 something. I look out the window and I ask myself that question. And the, and the answer was, it, it was quite revealing to me. The answer was no. Right. Th this, this is not what I wanted. Um, so I, on a whim, I had a dream of always wanting to travel. Okay. But I wanted to do something meaningful. I wanted to do some international right. development work. So I quit my job, sold everything I had, left family, left friends, and went to Ecuador uh, for two years. Didn't know the language, didn't know the culture. Um, and wow, what an amazing experience it was. Um, so what I started to realize with myself is that you could set dreams and you could attain these uh, types of things. Um, and then I started looking at other things as, as you know, when I was going through the work uh, world. Um, I started leveraging time to do things for me. Right. Um, you know, I started taking things for, be it an hour, a day, a week, a month. And I started to do those things that were very, very important to me. If I was on a conference for work, I would take time away from the conference and I would do something that was meaningful to me. Right. Um, I would bring my family along uh, at certain conferences and we'd make a, a family vacation out of the work, uh, work uh, aspect of it. And, you know, I became much more fulfilled as, as an individual. So you're saying that you were trading your time for things that really did mean more to you than perhaps um, what your day job dictated. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, one of the key premises of this book is the ability to use the levers of life, which is time, flexibility, and money. Mm -hmm. Leverage the dream process, which is really just uh, steps in goal setting. Okay. In order to take life breaks to do the things that you want to do. And that's that, all of that encompasses the time trading formula. So then, Robert, who can do this? Because, you know, often people hear about these things and they go, oh, that guy must be very wealthy or a multimillionaire and have the means to take these life breaks. How can the common person take these life breaks? Well, you know, I mean, that's, that's the beauty of this. It's each one of us have this immense power called the levers of life, time, flexibility, and money. And what time, you know, when you look at the time dimension, we all have time, but we make excuses for why we can't do something. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, um, for example, when I wrote this book, I'd always wanted to write a book, always, but I never had the time, or at least I thought I didn't have well, the time. Well, you're a busy dad. You have kids, and you, you live here in Ottawa. You've got a job. Exactly. I mean, I work full time. I have three kids. Uh, in fact, I would spend my time uh, either in an ice rink or a dance studio with my daughter. Right. Um, and then I realized, wow. What am I doing with this time before a uh, hockey uh, game starts or after a hockey game waiting for my uh, sons to get out of the, uh, the change rooms? Well, I started to take the time, and brought a notebook, and I started to write. And before I knew it, in five months, I had written a book. So it's, it's about looking at things differently, taking the time. We all have the time necessary. 
you know, instead of watching TV for six hours a day, watch TV for five hours a day. Take that extra hour and do the things that are meaningful to you. And then I started looking at flexibility. And flexibility is really about perceptions. Okay. We need to change the way we look at things, um, and then we'll find the flexibility to do the things that we want to do. You know, a prime example is, you know, when, I wanted, when, when somebody wants to buy a new car, they think of the, the vehicle that they want in their head. And then suddenly they start to see it on the road. And they go, well, I've never seen that car. Everybody seems to have that car. Right. Right? <laughs> and, and the reason we feel that way is because we now want to see that car. It's always been there. It's just that now we've decided to see it. Well, flexibility and changing your perception is the same thing. So if I have a dream in my head and I believe it, then I start to see it. I start to do the things that I need to see it. And then the third lever, when I talk about money, money, we all tend to put all of our eggs in one basket. We right. get a job, we get one job, and everything hinges on that one job. And the whole premise around money uh, for a lever of life is a penny earned is a penny earned. So it doesn't matter how much money you make or where you make it. The idea is to diversify your income streams, okay? Um, so that you're not as reliant on a single source of income. And right. it doesn't matter how much that is. That could be $10 a month through, you know, you could write a, a book, for example, and receive royalty. Right. You could create a business. There's all sorts of different things you can do to generate income. Okay. So a lot of practical tips, of course, that you're giving in your book, mm -hmm. The Time Trading Guru. I think we've just run out we of have. time, unfortunately. But, Robert, where can people pick up a copy of the book? They can pick up a copy uh, through all of the online retailers, Amazon, Alibris, uh, Barnes & Nobles, uh, anyone. They can take a look. Thanks so much for joining us, Robert. Right. Really Thank appreciate you. it. And a real well, inspiring story as well. If they dig into your backstory, of course, you've danced with a princess, you're a cartoonist, <laughs> you've lived like a millionaire. Really, a lot of different inspiring stories just from one person. I'm inspired, that's for sure.